the governor promised uh, kitchens, he promised food for our children, and he's doing it. What I want to say, Your Excellency, is without partners, we can go very, with partners, we can go very far. In Mukuru Ruben Center, we have a school that has only a primary school built by Christian brothers from uh, Australia. They have 60 million shillings to build a secondary school. That money has been sitting in an account for over 10 years. Your Excellency, I would like Christian brothers from Australia to be given the land. There is a parcel of land in Mukuru, Embakasi South, Ruben Center, where the Christian brothers have built a primary school. Now that primary school, we don't have transition. And the reason is the neighboring land, which is about five acres, was awarded by the former president, um, um, uh, Moy, to a gentleman called Baramasai, who is very, very old. And that land, I'm trying even through the lands committee to have it revert back because the community have refused anything to happen on that land. So the 60 million is waiting to build our children a school. I want you to help solve it. I came to, I came to Mukuru once when you were launching the housing project. And I remember C.S. Masharia saying, Your Excellency, I must commend you. What you have managed to unlock in two weeks, we struggled for two years. So what we've been unable to unlock for 10 years, I expect that Your Excellency, you will unlock it. Christian brothers with the donation from Australia will build a secondary school, and my children in Mukuru will be able to transition to secondary school. Another thing, Your Excellency, it is known that I'm supporting the finance bill. And the reason I'm supporting the finance bill is because of what is happening even here. I've seen the governors hold you ransom and say they want more money. And when they want more money, they want that money so that they can be able to do the things that the Governor Sakaja is doing here. Governor Sakaja, this is a very valuable investment. I have seen children go to school from as early as 5.30, they start walking. They have not had a good breakfast. If you keep them in school till 4 o'clock and they don't have a meal in between, they will not be able to study. And the budget of over 600 billion going for education will be wasted if our children are hungry and they cannot study. So I want to say, wanainchi, wajua maisha itakuwa ngumu, lakini baada ya kuteseka kidogo, inchi yetu itaenda mbele. Lazima tujitegeme, lazima tulipe ushuru, lazima tujenge inchi yetu. Ndiyo mana mimi ninapongeza serikali kutafuta hiyo pesa, ata kama itakuwa ngumu, ili tuweze kutoka kwa deni, tuweze kujenga ile infrastructure ambao hatuna kwa hii inchi yetu. Mimi nataka kuona wa mama watoke slums, waingie kwa nyumba ya mawe, watoto wa live na dignity, wapate chakula kwa mashule, wapate elimu bora, watu ambao wako na kazi sahi wasipoteze kazi yao, kwa sababu mtu ambao anafanya kazi kama doktari au nurse au mwalimu anawasaidia wale ambao hawana kazi. Na hii project wa, wawira alisahau kusema, hii project and at I employ what to come El Futatu directly, Kupika wa chakula yo ni kazi kwa vijana, kazi kwa wa mama. Na indirectly, wale watu ambao watapanda mboga, wata, wata supply briquettes, wata supply uh, uh, masahani kila kitu, 15,000 jobs to jenge Kenya yetu. Asanteni sana, sasa nipatia yo wakati, yo kualika, governor wetu, Johnson Sakaja, kwa sabi project yake, na serikali yetu. Asanteni sana.